Hey guys, how's it going? My name is John, and this is my tutorial of how to use the Inno Setup Compiler um, to create an installation file for your programs. So to start off, I just want to show y'all a example of how easy it is to use. And so here's my itch.io account. Here's a little game I made back in the day, and I created a installation file to download. So I'm just going to click download, and I'll show you guys how easy this is. So here's the here's the thing I downloaded. If I just click on it. First of all, it gives me a warning because I don't have a uh, license for the program. So um, I'm just going to click run anyway because I know that I made it and stuff. And let me get rid of this so you all can see. OK, so it's just saying, do you want to create a desktop shortcut? I'll click yes. Install. And it gives me the option to launch it as I install. Have that checked, click finish. And here we go. Here's my game. So you can play now. A little fun little game. Done. And here's just my desktop shortcut. So if I ever want to play it, just click on that. And it opens the app. Okay, so now that I showed you all how it works in action, let me show you how to take your files and create an installer like you just saw. So you want to start on my GitHub repository. It's called Inno Tutorial. And this is going to give you all the tools you need. Like um, this is how you download the, the app. So if you want to check this website out, um, you just download Inno Setup using this link right here. And it's going to download this app down here. Now, if you want to use my sample program, you can just clone this repository. So in this tutorial, I'm going to be using Visual Studio. Uh, so if you're using a different IDE, then it might be a little different. Okay, so first step is I'm going to clone the repository into my machine. I'm going to go ahead and click clone. And then you can kind of check it out, see how it works. So here's the, here's the game. If I go ahead and press run, you'll see how it works. Okay, so this game, you know, you just move around the screen, super boring, but just for example purposes, right? Okay, so now that we have our game here on Visual Studio, step one is we want to publish our game. So we're going to go over here on this side, Solution Explorer. There's two views. There's folder view, which shows, you know, all the folders and stuff. We want the other view. We want the solution view. Right click on the project and I'm going to click publish. To publish, uh, I'm not super familiar with this first three. It works for me to just publish to, to a folder, a local folder. So I'm going to click that click folder and then I'm going to choose my folder location. Okay, now that I've chosen a folder where I want my published game to be, I'm going to click finish. And now it says ready to publish. So it's not published yet. I just need to click this publish button and it's going to save all the game data into that folder that I created. So it succeeded. You can go ahead and exit out of Visual Studio now. OK, so now you have your published game. I'm going to click on the folder just to show you guys what it looks like. So this is my published game, right? I can click on this uh, executable file. It's going to go ahead and run the game. So this will be important later. Remember where this folder is saved. Okay, now that we have our game published, I'm going to go ahead and open the Inno Setup app. And we're going to create a new script file using the script wizard. The script wizard is really nice because it takes you step by step through the process. So that way you can customize it exactly how you want. So I'm going to click OK. OK, here's the welcome screen for Inno Setup script wizard. Just going to click Next. Now, here we put in all the information of our application. So my application was called Simple Game, but version if we want, publisher, I can just put you know, John Games, website if you are having someone download it from the website. And go ahead and click Next. On this screen, you can just click Next. You can look it over if you want to change anything, but for me, I'm just going to click Next. This step is super important, the application files. So I need to click browse, go into my uh, all my folders and find the executable file. That's the same one that I just showed you guys. It's in the published folder. 
So like I said, it's it's in this published folder. So here I'm in the simple game published. This is the executable file. So you're going to open that for this first line. Next, you want to make sure you include all the other application files that you need. So you need to add the entire published folder in this part. So I'm going to go add folder. So now I'm going to click on the simple game published folder and I'm going to press OK. And then it said, should files in subfolders also be included? Yes. You want to make sure all the files that the game needs to run get included in this step. So now I'm going to click next. Application file association. I am not sure what really this does, so I'm just going to click next. This uh, this page, you can like make sure the user can create a desktop shortcut. That's nice for the user, so I'm going to click next on that too. This is where you add in your license file or any other information. I don't have a license for this project. This is the setup install mode page. I'm just going to keep it on the default for this project. And then for languages, I'm just going to, mine's just in English for now. Okay, this page is pretty important as well, compiler settings. So once this is done, it's going to create a file that's the compiler file. And you just click on that and it installs the game on your device. So put this somewhere where you're going to know where it is. And whenever you distribute your game, you're just going to distribute this file. Okay, so this is the output folder that I chose just on my desktop. I can create a, a name for the file. I'm gonna put a simple game setup. And then this one's fun, you can create an icon file. Okay, so I'm gonna click next now. Um, this step, I can just click next as well. And that's the whole process. So now we have to click finish and it's gonna create our whole installer file. Okay, so it says, would you like to compile a new script now? I'm going to click yes. And then do you want to save the script? Um, I'm just going to click no, but you can click yes if you want. Now it's going to create the file. Okay, once this uh, script has ran, you can go ahead and exit out. You don't even have to save it. And I'm going to go into my simple game compiled folder. If you click on this file, it's gonna install your game on your machine. So this is the file that you wanna distribute to everyone. So this is it, this is what we wanted. So let me just show you in action just to prove that it works. Okay, destination locations. So you can choose wherever you want for that. Click next, create desktop shortcut, install. And here we go. I'm not gonna launch it yet, but I wanna show you guys how it works. So here we go. Here's our game. You can double click on that. It should run. So that was how you create an installer for your game or any app that you're working on. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any other questions, if anything was unclear, please leave a comment below. Um, and I'll leave my GitHub repository down in the comments as well. So thanks for watching and see you guys later.